Hey y'all, what's going on? Today is Black Friday. So today I want to feature a couple of people, um, all from the Bay. I got somebody who do art. I got somebody to do hair. I got the whole hookup for y'all. So check out the video and here we go.
today we're going to talk about all the people that designed my set. They don't even know they designed it, but I bought all these amazing art pieces and all this stuff just so I can feel inspired when I'm at home. And what more way to feel inspired than by a local artist, somebody that you can reach out to, somebody you can collect with, somebody that is there when the fairs come around and when you want to refer your friends. So first, I showed you guys the video of my set. Next, I just want to talk about a little bit of each piece. So the lion with the three cubs and with the older cub and the two baby cubs, those were all inspired by Camaro Morgan, my little sister. <laughs> She, to me, captured the way that my life is. For me, I was the mama cub, single mom. I had the daughter that was the oldest sister, very protective of her, her siblings. And then I had the twins, which were the baby cubs, who weren't quite understanding of the world yet, but they had us there and we had they back. So to me, that picture just explains a lot and it's really sentimental to me. She made it like eight years ago, but I never had the maturity. <laughs> so let's say that to put it in a frame, but I always knew I wanted to frame it. So I just made sure that no matter what I, where I moved or what I lost, I always carried that picture with me because it meant so much. As you've seen in the uh, video before, it's very nice. It's very detailed and I just love it. So next, what I showed was some artwork by No Prints Visual Art and Design. So with this person, they actually have a art studio. So it's him and it's, I want to say his wife. I'm not sure. So I want to say that it's his wife, but I'm not sure they were on the stand together. So it's No Prince and you can follow them on Instagram at No Prince with I, I, I behind it. So no prints, I, I, I. And I kind of pulled up the page so you guys can see. And if you look, they have amazing artwork on here. And it looks like a couple other things that you can check out. But um, this is the young lady that was with the young man. So check them out. Their name is Randy. And then Mianta um, is the business card that I have. Um, they made the beautiful picture with the queen on one side and the elephant on the other side wearing a crown and when I saw the piece it was just beautiful just to see the colorful side and then the black and white side so that's what drew me to it but when I got closer and I asked him well you know I never seen a black queen represented with an elephant like what exactly are you saying with that piece and he explained that a queen never forgets her glory so that's why the crown is on the elephant because elephants never forget so a queen never forgets her crown and glory afro loved the piece like it really spoke to me i get a lot of compliments when people see it and they want to know so check out his business card attached and you will see where you can purchase it next i had 
these beautiful rocks. They were Chanel rocks, and yes, they were black made now. I don't think that these rocks can be bought um, again because this is, wasn't made by someone who just sits and make rocks and sell them, but they were made by a dear friend of mine. Her name is Keisha. And, you know, me and Keisha, we had that spiritual connection, you know, when it was really important in my life. So for her to make those rocks for me, knowing that I'm a geologist at heart and I love rocks. So that's just a symbol of me wanting to learn about rocks. But at the same time, yes, I'm bougie. No, I'll just play. I'm not bougie. But at the same time, I can still enjoy the girly things while digging in the dirt. Okay, that's how I see it. <laughs> Next, we had a beautiful photo by Nettie. Nettie is a co uh, co-worker that retired, always was nice and friendly but she always displays her art on her Facebook page. My birthday came up, she took my profile picture and she drew me and that was just, I just love when people can capture another person and when I look in the eyes of that picture, I really see me, you know? So I just really love that and so, Okay, and so the beautiful, lovely, um, hand wood crafted artwork that you saw with the egg. that I was so excited to get like this piece when I saw it it was just like yeah I have to have that because it, it represented to me the woman giving the the egg to the earth giving your giving life to earth you know having children and just bearing children so for me I was like that is just a perfect representation of how I feel I've contributed to this planet so for the woman to be holding up an egg that was just what I love. I went and I asked him, how much is that? Now, remind you, we were at a Black Joy parade. So you don't have like all this money with you when you're just going to a parade. You're not expecting all these great things to be there. It was the first one. So for me, I was like, oh, I really want that. How much is that? And he gave me the price. And so I was sad and I walked away from it because I just was like, I just didn't have the money in my pocket. And you know, as a single mother, Sometimes you be having to pick your battles, you know, I'm like, do you want the art or do you want to struggle next week? And so I just kind of was like, mm, no, nah, I'm going to pass on that, but just give me your card. And, you know, maybe when I come up on some money or, you know, get a bonus at work or something and where I can actually buy some art, then maybe that'll be the time for me to get it. And I just touched it and rubbed it and I just wanted it so bad, but I walked away do you know he found me in the crowd and came and brought me the statue and asked me what did I have and I gave him what I had what I could give and he gave it to me he said something spoke to him that told him that that art was meant for me I so appreciate that I so love the piece 
It's from Emmanuel Opoku. Now, I don't know if he's the artist that did the actual craving. I'm sorry, carving. But it's from African Wood Carving and Handicrafts. So you guys would have to go check out their website. I have it up here below, up here. And it's, um, you know, all kind of arts. This is how the business card look. I also showed that on the video. Um, but you can shop now. And I've never been on the site uh, because I just, I love my pieces right now. And I live in a little space. So when I start owning my home and you know get somewhere bigger i'm definitely going to be having a lot of artwork but as you can see he has tons of beautiful arts he has fans and just made out of wood though handcrafted and it's just so beautiful so if you love art if you are an art collector let this be a place where you can go and get your art beautiful just look at it just look at it And then they have, you know, information about them. They even have upcoming events about us. So just go check out their website. It's AfricanWoodCarving.com. So AfricanWoodCarving.com. You can also look back on the video at the business card, and it'll also show you where you can find it and who the artist is that sold me this. It says that he's the master wood carver, so this may just be one of his pieces. So yeah, just check them out. The last thing on my list is someone named Letitia Baker. She's the one responsible for the thank you cards. Um, I also went to her site and as you can see, she has mugs, she has beautiful art cards, earrings, just beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. I met her first at the Farmer John's um, Flea Market, downtown Oakland. And then I saw her again at the Black Joy Parade. And it was just so exciting to see that, you know, all these people are just being very consistent. If you go to their pages you see that they are about their work they have you the site set up you know so i'm not saying that if you don't have the site set up and all that that you know you're not about it but i was fortunate enough to run into some beautiful people and i just wanted to display their work on my channel for black friday and um one thing i forgot to mention that Letitia baker Let Letitia baker artworks the one that was responsible for the handmade artwork cards also has an Instagram page. So you can find her at Letitia Baker Artworks. So it's also on the card. Last but not least, if y'all wondering why I've been looking so cute lately, yes, I've been cute. I know, I'm just playing, but for real. If you want to know who been hooking me up or where I got my hair from, so yeah, for those of you that didn't know, I do got some ad in here, but it came from the very own Mook Janae. She's my goddaughter, and she has quality hair. Now, I'm not just saying this because she's my goddaughter. She really has quality hair. I've used hair from the beauty supply. I've refused to order the $100 bundles or, you know, I don't know all about that stuff. So I'd rather just stick with somebody who knows hair and that I trust that to direct me and I got the six inch, no, I'm sorry, I got the 12 inch hair because I just like a short bob, so I don't need the long hair, but she has all lengths. She actually does hair, beautiful hair. You would have to go and check out her um, Instagram. I also showed her business card and the her actual logo that's on her hair, so you can check her out at the Mook Janae Way. T-H-E-M-O-O-K-J-A-N-A-E-W-A-Y at the Mook Janae Way. If you watch the video, you can pause closer to the end of the little video of my set and you can see her card and you can jot that down and check her out. But it really is quality hair. It does not shed. Right now, it's not curled. It's been in for 
over two weeks. I want to say maybe three to maybe four weeks. I've washed it, blow dried it, and it just feels so natural. It feels so good that when I wash it and blow dry it, I'm just constantly running my fingers through it because... It's just, it feels like your hair and it doesn't irritate your face and your ears, your skin. Like I get irritated. I'll be wanting to, at night, I want to just be free. But that's, you know, what I wanted to share with you guys for Black Friday. Come next Friday to find out what else we have on the list. We're going to be launching all the Black Friday deals. So um, just watch the video go to their sites you also can have this amazing artwork this lovely hair <laughs> and then you guys know about my plants but i'll be talking more about those on a different day also i got some amazing things coming up um my daughter kriana has candles coming up yes candles we're gonna be in here lit when we do our um youtube thing when i'm in my space and getting my peace and researching and talking to y'all about the people that you guys can be spending your money with I like to be in a zone so having the candles is a wonderful thing so thank you guys for watching and you have a happy happy Friday happy Black Friday bye well thank you guys so much for watching my video today um, just displaying black artists and Things that you can get for Black Friday. Um, a lot of people are going to be having sales. Of course, the major corporations is going to try to knock it out the box. So just remember, support black businesses. They really, really need you. So we're going to get it together. We're going to support our brothers and sisters. And we're going to make this happen for the holidays. Turn out in numbers. Remember, it's all about the black dollar. Bye.